Hey guys, welcome back to another video on how to create your own API. So, um, in today's video, I'll be making two simple APIs. So, for the first API, uh, let's say you have the query as hello, it's gonna reverse the string, so the output is gonna be O L L E H. So, it's just gonna reverse the string, and for the next API, we're just gonna make it so it returns a E a H E L L O. So, yeah, um, uh, it's not going to be too complicated for today's tutorial uh, because I'm going to use um, Express Best Framework for APIs. So yeah, um, let's get started. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to create a file in desktop folder, I mean. Um, and you're just going to call this API Tutorial. Okay, and then open that with register code and we should be good to go okay um let's just wait for it to load let me just enlarge this okay so let me just open a new terminal Okay, so just go to a terminal. You can use that external if you want. I'm just going to use the internal. Put in um VS Code terminal. So in here, just do npm init dash y to make a quick uh setup. Make sure there's no spaces in your um folder name. Either add a dash or just don't use a space. Okay, and then uh. For dependency, we're gonna use Express, so we're just gonna use npm i express. So let me just do that. If you go to package.json, see the main file is actually index.js. So I'm not gonna mess around with this, I'm just gonna create an index.js. Okay, so in here, the first thing I wanna do is uh, to require Express. Plus express equals require express. Okay, and then express itself is a function. So you can just do cause app got express but then brackets behind. Okay, perfect. So um we're gonna listen app dot listen to the uh, to port three uh thousand console the log um server is online okay so um first it's gonna be the string api the reverse string uh which is over here i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it so app.get okay so once you did app.get in here it's gonna be the um the path for the api so in this case I want it to be slash reverse and then slash and when you add this um this thing over here and then I can put it anything I want. Okay and then comma rec rest. So after I added this, uh this is actually a um parameter. So you can access it by doing rec dot params dot query. You can access this over here by doing this. So I'm just gonna require that. So const query equals params dot query, and then um. Okay, I will be teaching you guys how to make a something like this. Okay, and then first we're gonna split. So const split. Const. First we're gonna split by doing um string dot split. Uh, I mean query dot split and then um we're gonna split everything so you can split every single character. So what this does is a lot uh, makes so let's say your string is hello, it's gonna split your string into an array. So it's gonna be something like H and then E L something like that. Okay, it's just gonna give uh, let me just type it all out. <coughs> L and then O. Okay, so this is what split does. Okay, and then um we're gonna reverse. So um 
const split equals query dot split and then we're gonna reverse so it literally just makes everything uh um reversed so how we can do this we can use the array reverse method by doing split dot reverse and then say function so let me just const reverse equals split the reverse okay and then lastly uh, because it's an array you want to make it a string so you're just going to join everything up by doing um const uh, response equals um um reversed dot join okay so basically it's an array right now so once you do that it's gonna be o l l e h okay and then we can um do rest the status two hundred as in its um okay status and then uh we can dot send response okay so you're gonna send it in that object like that so let me just try this out by doing no dot service on the line so if you want to go here you can go local host three thousand okay um I'll make it for for page so after this app dot get okay just do app dot use rec rest let me just enlarge this okay app dot use uh rec rest and then just rest dot status no uh four oh four send um this page uh this route is invalid so um let's say uh you're not in this um this uh route it's just gonna say this route is invalid let me just okay and then we can do this right now if i save it and i refresh this route is invalid because uh i don't specify anything with dot get over here and then if i go to reverse and i go to hello and as you can see here, it's actually reversing my string. And if I do like something like uh, YouTube, okay, it's reversing the string. Okay. Um. Okay. Next, I'll be showing you guys how to make a um something like this. So this is a very basic tutorial. So I'm just teaching you guys the idea on how to get this um API up and working. So cases, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing. Query. And then regress um columns query equals uh rec dot params dot query okay and then I'm just gonna write a simple function so const response equals uh query um dot split you're gonna split everything up and then dot map map um character at index and then um index two equals zero or I mean if it is uh character we we'll change it to lowercase lowercase or else we're just gonna make it an uppercase dot to uppercase Okay, and then lastly, we need to do dot join to join the array. Okay, perfect. So, um, lastly, um, we need to send the response by doing rest of status two hundred dot send the response. Okay, and let me just save this and let's just run it again. Okay, so when you go to the web, you just change this to cases. As you can see here it goes like um uh alternatively uh the capital changes. So let me just try hello YouTube uh and then um this is this is an amazing tutorial. Okay, I can't spell but yeah as you can see here the um the API is actually working so this is the basic idea on how to make your own API of course you can make it like uh, send different images you can make an array of images links and then you can just send it um, by random 
You can do anything you want with it. Um, this is the basic setup of an API. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you face any errors, feel free to join as possible. Links will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again next video. Bye.